right, everyone, I am going to walk through how to update the software on your Oculus Quest 2. So as you can see on the top left of the SideQuest app, it says unauthorized allow on headset. So once I plugged in my headset to the computer, this is what pops up until I accept the in headset permissions. So I'm going to pop my headset on. It has to be on and has to be awake and I have to have a boundary set or it won't, uh, won't even give me the permissions. Now, because I just started the headset, it uh, hasn't recognized that I plugged it in. So I'm just going to unplug it, plug it back in. Okay. Simple problem, simple fix. Once I plug it back in, it will ask, Hey, do we want to access, uh, allow USB debugging? Yes. So you hit always allow, check that, hit allow. And then it's going to say allow access to data. Same thing, hit allow. It may or may not ask one more time for um, access or to enable Oculus Link. You don't need to enable Oculus Link. You do need to give access if it asks for anything regarding computer access. Once you're done, you'll see at the top left, it does say Oculus Quest 2, and it'll say the full details of the, uh, the actual IP address for the device, as well as your battery life remaining on the Quest 2. So now that I have it loaded up, I'm going to expand this to full size for you for a sec here so you can see. So there's the three, three icons here that I'm going to use, and that's it, just these three. So I'll start with the apps on the headset. Once I click on the nine dots, I can see that the Chimera XR app is installed. I'm going to uninstall it. So first I'm going to force close it, then I'm going to hit clear data, then uninstall. So what this does, it'll take the core software right off the headset. You can check that it's completed in the task menu over here. So it's again, these three, these three buttons here, these three menu toolbar buttons. So I can see that it's uninstalled. So now when I go back to programs, it's gone. Okay. That's what I need to have is clean start, clean start, nothing on the headset. Now I can install my software. So this is what the software looks like when you unzipped it, it comes in this, this format. You only need these two files, the APK and the OBB. You always do it in the same orient, uh, the same order. Okay, so you're gonna start with the APK. You're gonna drag it to the side quest logo and let it go. After that, you're gonna do the same thing with the OBB, drag it to the side quest logo, let it go. Once you're done, you can go here and check it out in the tasks. The APK installs in seconds. The OBB takes about a minute, okay? So depending on the transfer speed, it'll take a minute or so for that to finish. That's always the big file if you're ever like, which one's which? The OBB file is always the big one and a half gigabyte file, the APK is much smaller. So essentially this is going to finish installing. So while that's going, I'm going to show you something else. So in the files on the headset, click on that option, which looks like a little folder there, scroll all the way to the bottom and you should see UE4 game. Now, if you've just installed the software for the first time, you may not see it. I find it takes a couple of restarts for it to show up sometimes, even saving a, a drill the first time may, it may or may not show up. You may just have to restart the headset. And then you'll see this populate in the list. We call this populating in the list. When it shows up, you can actually see this folder. Otherwise, you'll just see it kind of stop here and there'll be nothing below ringtones on the SD card under your manage files on headset. So I go into, I go in right here to U4 game. Here we go. Drive down through Chimera XR, Chimera XR and save. So save games. This is the folder that we have our, our drills and everything we've built saved in here. And even if we uninstall the software, it'll continue to be saved there. Okay. So I'm going to pull up, um, some previously built folder here. So I can see, I've got a dead space workshop that somebody built and I can pull this into, um, my headset very simply by taking the whole folder and dragging it onto the headset. Bam. Now it's going to populate on the list inside the headset SD card. And that's also going to populate on the list that is um, inside the headset once you put it back on and load up the app. So once I load up this app inside the headset, I should see this on the list of drills. So that's that easy. If you want to save a drill, so I want to take the CQB one, I can select the location. I want to save it to my desktop. So I'll go to my desktop, save it there, save to PC and bam, it's going to show up right here on my desktop. There it is. And it's saved. It even has a little icon usually that gives you an idea of what's inside the, uh, the app or inside of the drill. So right here, this one is pretty much an empty area. 
I guess because of where the picture was taken, you can actually change where that picture comes from based on where you save it. So depending on the view that you have from above, when you save your drill, that's what you're going to see. So some of them don't really have a whole lot, whole lot to show for it. Try a different one here. Same thing. I'm going to save it to the desktop. See what it looks like. Same thing. So this one also didn't get a, um, a screenshot of it. All right, no worries. So now that I've got my, my drills added, go back, yeah, we can see that our upload is complete and the files are transferred successfully. So we're done. Essentially, all we're gonna do now is unplug the headset, restart it, and launch the app as you've already learned. So that's it. That's all you need to do to uninstall and install new software to your headset when we send it to you. You're gonna get it again in a, a zip file. Uh, once you take it from that zip file, unzip it. It's gonna look like this. That's how you get your APK, drag it over. Make sure that you've put yourself in the apps, right? If you're in the home, for whatever reason, if I'm in this home, this isn't gonna do anything. If I drag it here, this does nothing. Nothing's gonna happen. I have to be here in currently installed apps and then it will allow me to install it. Now, no, it's not gonna do anything if you've already got something installed, right? So you have to make sure you uninstall it first and then you'll get the correct effect, okay? So it might install the APK, but it's not, can install the OBB because there's nothing to install. It's already been done. So that's it. Any questions, feel free to send me a message or a, uh, an email at taylor at chimera xr.com.